Welcome to a new Rational Alchemy. So today we are actually going to be doing a little bit more hip hop alchemy. I'm joined at the table today by two of my favorite, favorite people, DJ Stavros and Shawana. Guys, welcome back to the table. Happy to be back, Nigel. It is so good to see you here again. It is. Before we get into the, the main topic, got a quick question. Last time you were here, we were talking about One Lovely Night, which was your LP that you were working on. Yes. Has that been released yet? No, no. no. Ooh. Not yet. See, the biggest thing is we want this album to be spectacular. You know, really blow your mind, really be different. Um, this will be my first attempt at R&B, whereas she's coming from an R&B and, you right. know, opera singer. Um, so... Recording is going fantastic. Actually, as of tonight, we are going to be performing about two or three of the brand new songs off of One Lovely Night. So we are going to give them a, a little taste of it. Excellent, excellent. Let's talk about the show a little bit later, because what I really want to do is talk about why you're really here. Absolutely. There's a rather interesting can of drink sitting in front of me. Yes, sir. Why don't you explain why we've got these three cans of drinks sitting here on the table. Absolutely, so this is my new creation here. I call it Energy Essence. It is our new energy drink. Um, we started the company, I'd say about two, three weeks ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's brand, brand new, um, but we have some amazing partners that brought the energy drink to our company. Um, and then between myself and Shawana, um, we designed it. So everything on there, oh, as well as the taste. I picked everything, I put it together as far as the taste, the ingredients, um, and then they just canned it up for me and sent it out. And Wonderful. Here we are. Is, is this the only product on the line? No, no, not no. at all. So we're gonna have two other energy drinks, as well as a soda, as well as a seltzer water. And we're probably going to throw a barbecue sauce in there. Oh, interesting. So, <laughs> Along with that hot we sauce. Are, yeah, exactly. We, and we do already have our hot <laughs> sauce. So basically, what I, I'm, I'm going to have to grab a whole load of this stuff for when I start barbecuing outside. Yes. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. that time of year. Barbecue exactly. sauce. There are so many different types. What, what type of barbecue sauce are you aiming at? Something so, very hot, mild, mellow? Mellow-ish. We're looking for more of a hickory slash sweet honey uh, barbecue sauce. Okay. And we're trying to make sure that the hickory isn't too strong that it tastes like fire. Yes. But yeah, yeah, that's where we're going to go with the barbecue sauce. Most interesting, because hickory actually is what they used in the Second World War because of, there was no coffee beans. Mm. Yes, exactly. And they used hickory. I've okay. never actually tried hickory coffee, but... Really? Yeah, I don't mm. know what it's like. We make coffee. I'll, I'll have to get you one. Oh, I, I, I'd be interested because, you know, obviously my mum and my auntie and my grandparents, that's what they drank for four and a half years. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you'd like to talk about when it, when it comes to this product? You when, know, when, when, when's it actually going on the shelves? Today. Oh, today, wow. Today will be the first day that it hits the shelves. Um, we're gonna get about two, three hundred more um, and then start hitting stores. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. So you're really pushing this product. Yes, sir. Excellent. It debuts That's good to tonight hear. Um, for sale at our show. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Ashley, talking about your show tonight, let's talk about your show tonight, and I think I just repeated myself. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> you, you are putting on one heck of an adventure tonight and down, in, down in Denver. That's definitely what I would call it. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about the show and who's gonna be involved? The show itself came from uh, us signing a brand new artist, uh, Godimus. Uh, to our label. He used to per, uh, uh, previously be with Strange Music, mm -hmm. and he was with a, a group called Sess Crew. Okay. So since he had left them, you know, we figured he had a lot to offer our company and a lot to offer the world and kind of get back into the groove of things. Um, unfortunately, during the time of us promoting and getting everything done, he had a throat surgery. Ooh. Yeah. Emergency throat and surgery. And emergency yeah. throat ah. surgery, something horrible happened, and he can't make the show. 
Um, fortunately, that did open a window for both us and really great friends of ours, Heretic Click. Um, they're amazing performers. They are amazing MCs and lyricists. You know, me, myself, I'm a fan of a song of theirs, a couple of songs of theirs. Um, so I think that they really deserved to headline with us Excellent. instead of Donovan's. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you were able to find someone to fill the hole. Absolutely. But I do feel so sorry for your, your friend with the throat surgery. That is not good. Thank you. Yeah, thank, yeah, you. thank you. Do they know yet it. whether it's going to affect his voice or it's too early to tell? So. Too early to tell. Too early to tell. Yeah, oh, my yeah. goodness. But our whole team was there for him. You know, if he needs anything, we're yeah. always there. We're, when, we're, you see him, when, he, when you see him, let him know Captain's Lounge wishes him the fastest, safest recovery possible. Absolutely we will. We know. Yeah. Heretic Click, and there's an interesting group of people. Super interesting. Super interesting. <laughs> Amazing. I could say I've never met them, but of course that would be a total and utter lie it because would. we actually had them in here for an interview. That's I really awesome. enjoyed working with them. Yeah, yeah. They were good. So tell me a little bit more about the show. Shawana, come on. Tonight we have back-to-back -back performances nonstop. We have absolutely no breaks whatsoever. Um, we open the doors at 7, boom, 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 we get started. We have... Uh, Wrestling, Primo's Wrestling is coming down. Oh my An goodness. Another set of good friends of ours. Um, and they'll be performing along with some other um, performers. It's kind of a surprise. There are two things that you can do to guarantee a good audience. Girls on trampolines and jello wrestling. <laughs> I honestly believe that the jello wrestling might actually get me to come to the show. <laughs> uh, well, They'll be wrestling. They'll I feel be... like we need to go get some jello because I want Nigel at the show. <laughs> now, these particular wrestlers, they do a thing called a slave to the death match. Okay. I think that would interest you. Oh. Probably would. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little different than your average WWF. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to t talk about the show, for instance? Because, um, as you said, it is going to be a jam-packed full show. Yes. yes. Okay. What are the audience numbers like? Have you got any idea of... Uh, Absolutely. Of Thus far, we're looking at about 150 so far. Okay. Um, we're, the, the venue itself holds about 300, so we're looking okay. at about half. You're going to get walk-ins. Oh, absolutely. Oh, exactly. you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, yeah. And you're going to get people that have got tickets going, hey, Fred, why don't you come along tonight? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, so... We're very excited. Yes. You know, 150, actually, it sounds... It doesn't sound a lot, but it means you're getting known in your mm -hmm. own state, yes. in your own city, although you live out here in the sticks, but, you know... <laughs> Long turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we called it back in the day. Do you have any final words about tonight's show? I've got to say this is a really big celebration for us. Um, we have gone through a lot personally mm -hmm. um, and professionally. We've grown incredibly, and I feel like this is a reward. Um, we love the Roxy Theater. We, we, we were almost born there, if, yeah. if we're being honest, in terms of our hip-hop careers. Right. And um, we've never had our names on the marquee. And now you do. And now yeah. we do. I bet your names are up there already. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure. It's, up yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny because when I was doing a lot of acting, uh, Longmont Theatre Company here in town, 300 seat theatre. Oh. And I always found that acting to 300 people was the perfect number only because you could connect with everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There, there weren't little dots up in the right. you know, exactly. rafters. Yeah. yeah. You, you can really see them, play with them if you're, if you're able and you to can, in the show. You can initiate eye contact with more right. than a few. Yeah. Well, you see, and, you know, in most shows you more can't. More than once. Most shows you cannot do that. Right. Because right. of the fourth wall. Right, we and the lights. We try to. Yeah, but um, I, did, I was in a couple of shows where uh, I was able to mess with the audience, and yeah. boy, I never had more fun oh, in so the whole of my life. Yeah. yeah. Now for some really exciting news. America's Got Talent. Mm. Yes. How did you guys manage it? That's that's my queen, man. All day she put she put it together originally, mm -hmm. um, and so with America's Got Talent, you have a few levels you have to go through. 
Um, we, in, in what way? Um, so you have to go through and uh, send them something that will credit you for your performing. Okay, so like an audition tape. Exactly. Okay. And it's a little different than post or pre twenty twenty now. Exactly. As well. They're, yeah. Oh, okay. They've yeah. changed. They've changed how they used to do things. Exactly. Well, and, and as well as like uh, when we were going to be headed out to California, uh, the earthquakes hit, and literally Pasadena was right there, and they oh. said, "Don't, don't come." It's, so you literally yeah. had to literally do everything mm -hmm. online, basically. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wow, that must um, have been difficult. A little difficult, yeah. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't imagine doing an audition tape when I cannot see the people who are auditioning me. Yeah, yeah. Well, we could. We could oh, you could? Yeah. The second time. Yeah, the second time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we made yeah. it past round one. Okay. Uh, successfully. They loved our performance. They loved the video. Um, so they wrote us back and was like, hey, yeah. you guys are awesome. Let's get you to our department, bam, for your second one. Mm -hmm. um, our second one was amazing. You know, it was her idea, again. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so glad one of you's got brains. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I don't know. I'm just a performer. I mean, drinks, anyone can put together a drink. That's debatable, it depends on the day. America's got talent, that takes. <laughs> it does, it does. Um, the second round was a little scary. Really? Uh, because they, they wanted a brand new song, they wanted an original song, ah. but they also wanted a cappella. We were, we were, we forgot about that. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't really read that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it was a great challenge to come over and defeat. It really was, because we had to, yeah, right now, now, figure pushing, out. It's now pushing you. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So now, we're very confident in the fact that not only can we perform at a strong and amazing level, we can do so without music. That should become a part of your act. Absolutely. I agree. agree. What, what, what song did you do for that? I Be On Go. Oh, okay. Um, it is a, a song we got from Stevie Stone, who used to be with Strange Music. Okay. Um, and it is with myself and Eyeless. And DJ Stavros. And, uh, Excellent. You know, we've had to, we had to alter it a little slight, just a little bit. There was a couple oh, of one or two. One or two. One, one or two little words that had to uh, vanish little words. from. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> for an audition, though, they were worried about that for an audition. Absolutely, absolutely. We because are to audition as if we were on On, stage. on the TV. show. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how they're showing it to their producers and their people. They've obviously not realized that if they flashed up a banner that said, next song is NC-17, their viewership would go through the roof. <laughs> through, <laughs> that's totally true. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> See, I was okay with that. I was like, what are we showing up to? But, you know. Right. <laughs> okay, so that's all gone well. Yes, I yes. believe now you're now waiting to, to get that letter that says yay or nay. One more week. One more week. Oh, One my goodness. Week. Yeah, we're on pins and needles, man, well, constantly. I would not you know. want to be in your shoes I'm on always that like, one. But Did you check? Did you check? Did you check? <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> but, you know, being invited and having been a part of it in general, I'm just excited. Yeah. You know, I yeah. couldn't, it, because it speaks of another level for us. It speaks of right. a new place that we didn't think we were going to be in. Right. You know, which is mainstream. You know, right. and <laughs> it, it really makes me happy that we're moving in that direction independently. Right. You know, without having to do the big stuff. I mean, by means, uh, we, we do have some wonderful distribution deals. Right, with um, some more mainstream. Exactly, with some more mainstream yes. companies. But I still control everything. Right. Um, and it's it's been amazing. It's yeah. been amazing. So I'm very excited that these next few projects are kind of coming from that standpoint. Understood. Understood. That's the thing that's always amazed me about you is the fact that you like to, to, to literally do the, do everything. I do. I love it. You know, and, and it's a great way of getting control and getting exactly what you want exactly. out there. Yeah. yeah. As they always say, if you want something done... Do, do it, it yourself. yourself. If you want something done correctly. Right, correctly. Right. Yeah, you got to it. Anybody can do it. Every, anyone can <laughs> anybody do it. Anybody can do it, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought of sending out um, audition tapes to The Voice? Ooh. Have I just tweaked an idea? Wow. Ding! 
I think we have one. Yeah, yeah. I Winner. know. We it's, have not tried the voice. Because the trouble with America's yeah. Got Talent is it's everything. Exactly. That's you true. Know, yeah. You could come on TV and the next thing you see is a dancing poodle. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went up against, uh, what was it, like 15, 20 uh, tap kids. Doing oh. tap dancing. They were in China, I think. Yeah, 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 they were in China. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I'm I like, think I we think got that. That was interesting because you know, <laughs> hold on, they hold, were excuse, hold, hold, mm -hmm. time out, time out. Time I know, out, time out. I know. America's got talent. I knew it. And you said I knew it. <laughs> they're in China. <laughs> yep. I'm confused. Same, <laughs> same. <laughs> they they brought folks out for yeah, various. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they didn't bring I them see. out, but they traveled, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen British artists that yeah. were on the on the on the British version of yeah. the show, and they're amazing. Right. Oh, I oh, love some of them. Are. I like. Yeah, yeah. That, that but yeah, but too. but the voice, of course, is is pure voice. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. and, That's a good idea. And now That's that you idea. now that you've got a cappella nailed down tight. Yes, we do. It's a perfect opportunity because it would be great to see someone actually on that show that doesn't require people playing banjos and guitars and drums and... Exactly. It it Because it's showing the voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's so important. It is, it, it is. is. It really is. Displaying the talent. Yeah. Let's go back to the show tonight, very briefly. Do you have any final words for people? Now, obviously, this show is going out after the... Right, absolutely. ...tonight's performance. Yes, yes, yes. But do you have any words of what you may have want to think about, do a little better, do a little differently. You know, I would say this uh, this performance is going to be a hundred percent different um, than what we normally do, um, and more than anything, go to our website. Right. What is your website? Eight zero generations dot com. Okay. Eight zero generations dot com. Absolutely. Because if, if you just go on there, you'll see not only some of the best talent coming from Colorado and coming from other sides of the world, and you're going to see way more than we can show you right. just at a show. Have you ever been in Heretic Ticks, Clicks, uh, Neck of the Woods, doing shows down in, down in Dallas? No. No, we no. have not. Not yet. No. Well, there's a thought. So before we, before we wrap up, do you have any closing words that you'd like to say? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something that Jelly Roll said uh, a few weeks ago, and it's never, ever think you can't do something because you may be getting an award that very next year mm -hmm. for something that you tried and spit your heart out for. Don't forget that you're a person and that you can do whatever it is you put your mind to. If you push yourself. If you push yourself. I, I tend to agree with that. However, there are certain things that I know I would like to have done and have still tried to do, like play a piano. Absolutely <laughs> forget it. <laughs> you know, it uh, doesn't work with me. My brain is not wired that way. Right, right, right. Guys, thank you so much for coming back to the table. Thanks for it's having It's been us. a pleasure talking to you again. Please, please, please let us know what happens with America's Got Talent. Yes. Really want to stay on top of that. That could be an amazing break for you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. If you can just get to round one, that works. Yeah. Yeah. It really does. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little show. And I also hope that you managed to get down to Denver to see their show tonight. It's been fun interviewing them again. I'm dying to hear what's happened with America's Got Talent. I, I think they would be absolutely dynamite. I think they'd be brilliant on The Voice. Um, because that is about vocals, nothing else. Even though they try and make it look like it's about the music, it's not. It's meant to be about the vocals. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm Nigel Aves, your host. This is the Captain's Lounge Studios. Subscribe now. That's an order. I mean it. I'm going to get angry if you don't. Nigel Aves signing off. Thanks very much. See all my life a bit of troublemaker. Don't let me love me, I'm a heartbreaker. I'll bring your whole world down and you want it. Dash me and you dodge a bullet. Yeah. See all my days I've been a